Hey, welcome back to my channel. We're going to talk a little bit about using Screencastify as a video recording option uh, on your computer and then using that uh, video that you've recorded to push over into uh, Windows Photos app uh, to do video creation. Uh, so I've got a couple videos on that already, part one and part two, so make sure you check that out. But if I was going into Screencastify up here in the upper right portion of your screen in a, in a Chrome browser, you're going to be going into options. Now I've already kind of opened up options. And it asks you where do you want to save your stuff to, uh, your videos. Uh, now I know in the previous two videos that I had made, it said you know I always push for doing things locally and not on the uh, in the cloud. In Screencastify's option, uh, though, I'm going to make sure that you do save this to Google Drive. And the reason uh, is when you go in to record it and uh, you're done, open up in the editor. So you go up in the uh, the upper right portion of this. When you're done recording, uh, this opens up, uh, your video opens up into another browser tab. And then it gives you the option to open up an editor. So when you do that, go in the editor, and then it gives you the option to export. Now, uh, I've already pre-made a little video here. And what I want to do here is go to export. And you want to export this as an MP4. Uh, in the, the format that it is originally recorded in, it does not support uh, video editing in Windows Photos app. So I uh, just give it a name and download it and then you're done. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any other further questions on this, make sure you ask. And uh, if you like this, please hit the thumbs up down below and make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way when new content's pushed out, you'll be the first to know. Have a great rest of the day.